TOEFL Junior. Practice Test 2. The listening section has 42 questions. Follow along as you listen to the directions for the listening section. Directions In this section of the test, you will hear a teacher or other school staff members talking to students. Each talk is followed by one question. Choose the best answer to each question and mark the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. You will hear each talk only one time. Number 1. Listen to a school principal talking to a group of students. Senior School Orchestra will meet on the first day back, Tuesday, 7th of January, so don't forget to bring your instruments. We will take the bus as usual at 1.30 to the senior school and rehearse until 3. You will also need your Essential Elements Method books. The bus fee from the Tuesday we missed last month will be applied towards January's bus fees, if you had already paid it. What does the principal want the students to do? Number 2. Listen to a math teacher talking to a class. We've been learning how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators. Today, we're going to apply that knowledge and what we learned about writing equivalent fractions to add fractions with unlike denominators. Eventually, you will be able to apply this knowledge to a cooking activity in which you will combine ingredients to make a fall festival cake. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 3. Listen to an English teacher speaking to her students. You probably know what it means to write in the first person, but you may not be as confident about using the second or third person point of view. Today, we're going to focus on each of these three points of view. In grammatical terms, first person, second person, and third person refer to personal pronouns. Each person has a different perspective, a point of view and the three points of view have singular and plural forms as well as three case forms. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 4. Listen to a librarian speaking to students. The library is a wonderful place for you and we encourage you to use it as much as possible. Each class has a weekly library day. Please make a note of your day, and remember to return your books in time. We encourage you to spend time in a cozy place to read the library books. This special time is valuable and enjoyable for you. If you notice a library book is damaged, please return to the library for repair. You are encouraged to report any damage, and don't get into trouble for this. The most common causes of serious damage to our books are leaky drink bottles. What does the librarian want the students to do? Number 5. Listen to an art teacher speaking to a class. The Dutch process for making paint, adopted by the Dutch Boy Company, originated with two chemists in 16th century Holland. The Dutch Boy icon was created to symbolize its superior method for creating paint. However, Michael E. Brady, the nine-year-old boy who became the inspiration for this famous trademark, wasn't Dutch at all. He was an Irish-American who lived near the artist commissioned to create the logo. What is the teacher explaining? Number 6. Listen to a school principal speaking over the intercom. If you travel abroad without your parents or a guardian, you will be asked to present a letter of consent to travel. We will provide a template of this document 
once you have completed the booking process. The document needs to be signed by your parent and handed to you to be kept with the passport at the time of traveling. What is probably true about the travel? Number 7. Listen to a culture teacher speaking to his class. First select a gallery, then pick a photo or document for both inspiration and to illustrate your poem. You will then be able to enter, preview, and print your illustrated poem. In this activity, students analyze and interpret historical, primary source content, then synthesize the information, making personal connections with history as they retell it from their own perspective. The activity provides an opportunity for students to creatively share their historical understanding with an authentic audience. Plato said, Poetry is nearer to vital truth than history. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 8. Listen to a biology teacher speaking to a class. Class, what would happen if a new species of plant or animal were introduced to the biome? How would it affect the balance of the ecosystem? And would the new species survive? Now write a letter to a farmer in the tropical rainforest who wants to cut down large parts of the forest for grazing land for his cattle. Please note that you need to focus on the questions. What information would he need to know about the biome and the way it works? What effect will this action have on the tropical rainforest? What is the purpose of the talk? Number 9. Listen to a science and lab teacher speaking to a class. Class, first you will work together in small groups of four to five to discuss the question. What materials could you find mixed with soil in the environment and at a crime scene? You may set up a crime scene. Someone broke into the school building last night and raided the student lockers. The only evidence found was a shoe print and some dirt in the hallway. The building principal wants answers, and I told him that you have proven to be effective crime scene investigators and would be willing to assist. Then you need to collect evidence. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 10. Listen to a history teacher speaking to a class. The Middle East is a place of many conflicts. Since Israel became an independent nation in 1948, it has been the focus of many news articles. Israel has significance for three of the world's largest religions, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. It is important for you to examine how history, culture, and geography influence a person's perception of the particular place. Begin the unit with a background study of Middle Eastern physical and political geography. You should also be familiarized with culture, current events, and history of the regions. Why is the teacher talking about the Middle East? <laughs>